Hi everyone, welcome back to my art channel. Today's episode is going to be extra special as we dive into the enchanted world of procreate dreams. If you are starting from ground zero, you are in the right place. Let's get started. Procreate has recently released a new app called Procreate Dreams, allowing artists to bring their illustration to life with animated elements. So whether you are a seasoned artist or just starting out, Procreate Dreams will open up a whole new dimensions to your creative journey. Today, I will try to make a simple animation using Procreate Dreams and familiarize myself with the features in the app. When I open the app, I can see some sample animations. Well, after watching this, I'm totally inspired and have high hopes that I will be able to create cool animations like this. There are different options here. By clicking the plus button in the top right corner, you can select different sizes. By tapping on the empty button, a new project will open up. Then you will see the stitch and timeline. I've previously created an art to be used as the background. First is to import the art into Procreate Dreams. I watched a tutorial video and it said that I'm able to drag and drop the artwork from Procreate. After a few attempts, I felt like an idiot dragging the artwork around my iPad. It doesn't work. I must have made a mistake. So after failing to use the drop, drag and drop method, I decided to import artwork via Procreate Dreams. This method is quite straightforward. I will share with you my bumpy journey of selecting the right brushes, adding layers and setting keyframes. We will start with a simple animation to get the hang of things. It's all about experimenting. Trust me, the struggle is more than 7 minutes. To adjust the size of the artwork, tap on the movie icon and go to move. Select move and scale under motion. Turn on the drawing tool and now we are able to draw in dreams. It is very similar to Procreate. If the drawing area is too small and you wanted to have a full screen of the drawing area, you can simply follow the arrow and drag it down. Tap on the time here and you will see the option for onion skin. If you haven't watched any tutorial videos on dreams, good luck finding the onion skins. <laughs> it is the last place that I would have ever thought that I would find the onion skin. The good thing is you can see the flipbook. Now I will make my first sketch on the first page of the flipbook. I made first and second sketches to test the animation. To my surprise, each flipbook lasts less than one second. So I have to adjust the duration of each frame. I'm sure there is a more efficient way to do this. If you know how, please let me know in the comment box. To create a new flipbook, I have to ensure that I click on the empty track, same track as the previous flipbook. I can see the onion skin of the sketch on the previous page of the flipbook, so I can outline a new sketch based on the onion skin. It is the same steps as the previous frames that I have created.
Dreams has a user-friendly interface, but understanding it is key. Take a look at the timeline, layers, and playback options. Each element plays crucial roles in crafting a dreamy animation. To be honest, I struggled at first as it took me some time to get comfortable with the basics. Now I'm adjusting the duration of each frame. You can tap on the playback button and see how the animation looks like. Once I have completed the outline, I want to color the sketches. I go to the plus and add another new track. You can see there is a new track added to the timeline. I need to make sure that this new track is below the outline so that I'm not coloring on top of the outline. We will spend a few minutes coloring these sketches. To add some effect, I added a new track to give the sketch some dreamy effect. I had previously created a code in Procreate. I want to give the drag and drop method another go. This time, I closed my Procreate app, went to Dreams icon, opened it and dropped it. And it works! When I drop the art from Procreate to Dreams, I can long tap the art and click Convert Layers to Tracks. When you click on Ungroup, you will get all the layers you had created in Procreate previously. In this case, I only need one layer of the code, so I deleted the uh, extra layer. To make wobbly words, I turn on the Record mode. Now I can use the wrap tool and move the codes. Dreams will record the movement every time I adjust the code. I have completed the animation. To export the uh, animation and save it as a video, tap on Dreams 2. Depends on what name you had given to your project and you will see the share option. Click on the video and now you can export your animation. Dreams has truly opened up a realm of endless possibilities for artists. Remember, it's all about experimentation and embracing the learning curve. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in next.